Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Just so that you know, this is an adult colouring and hobbies channel. Um, we focus on colouring, reading and um, photography as a way of relaxing, um, dealing with anxiety and depression. I've just changed the battery and it's already flashing at me. So as I was saying, this is an adult channel. It is not intended or aimed at children in any way, shape or form. So welcome, this is the last colour and chat of 2019. Yes, I'm going right to the end. This will be up on New Year's Eve. Then on New Year's Day, you're gonna get my uh, December book haul, which I haven't put up yet. Um, but it will be up soon and then uh, the day after that you'll get my completed pages for the whole of December because unlike most colorists who have already put up their completed pages I don't do my completed pages until after the last day of the month because I don't know when I'm going to finish my last image I've still got um, obviously this one to finish and the Whimsy Girls Christmas to finish I have pretty much finished the one in season there's just the little final touches to do to that which i'll be doing once i finish this and then that one will be done as well so i'm really pleased so it's only really this one and whimsy girls christmas so let's get started so i'm going to be using the black widows today now me being me i haven't actually got my swatch book here so i'm going to grab a piece of card i need to go to hobby craft and get some more and I'm just going to check the colours on that as we go. Um, yeah, so I've taken one out. Well, there it is. I'm just going to sharpen up this one. And we're going to be using the, I've got the full, I've got three sets of Black Widows. And I've got the Skin Tones Light, the Light Skin Tone set. So we will be using pretty much all of those from each one. So, um, but I don't know which ones we're going to be using for each thing yet so I'm going to be starting with from the Scorpion set SC17 Blue Horizon for the blanket that the kitten's on so yes and like uh, I mean I've, I've noticed a lot of colorists started putting up their completed pages for December like Chris, Christmas Day or Boxing Day and I'm like there's a week to go I'm not putting mine up to the end because I'm still colouring winter pictures and like I said, I've still got the one in Whimsy Girls Christmas to finish but yeah I mean I, I want to complete as many as I can in December and show you I don't want to start what I'm going to be doing in January in December so I've already got a few things planned. We're going to be colouring in Colouring Heaven's Alice book and we're going to be using the WH Smith's pencil. So we're finally going to get that review done. And I'm going to, it could be like a colouring chat, but I'll be actually telling you what I think of the pencils and each colour as we go in. So as we colour one of the pictures. Um, so that's one of the ones we're going to do. I'm finally going to get on and do the Lost Ocean picture with the fine liners as soon as I can and then we'll have our normal colouring chats and flip throughs and you know haul and if you like I said before if you want to see something that I've bought and hauled if you want to see a flip through just let me know and I will flip through if it's not already been done. I must set up my playlists properly and set up the colouring playlist so that we've got colouring chats, diamond painting, flip throughs, hauls, completed pages. So they're all in place for playlists, which will make it easier for you to, to find. So. So are you all looking forward to New Year's Eve celebrations? This will be up before New Year's Eve UK. Um, so I'm afraid if you're in New Zealand, Australia, it's already gonna be the new year when you see this. But uh, for those of you in the States and in the UK, I, what are you planning? Are you going out? Are you staying in? I'm staying in, because obviously I've got the little one. So um, let me know what you're doing. It'd be interesting to see how 
people sp are spending it in different parts of the world. So me and Paul will be just spending it at home. Paul's mum is coming over. This is Scorpion SE11 Galaxy Blue, if you were wondering. Um, Paul's mum's coming around about seven. She won't be staying until midnight because she has to drive home because we don't have anywhere for her to stay this year. Next year, we're hoping she'll be able to stay over New Year's Eve so she can stay with us and see the new year in. Um, but she's coming over for some food. We're going to have a little buffet. I was going to do a um, weekly vlog this week and I forgot to do it completely today so I might start it tomorrow and just say, you know, it's Tuesday. I miss Monday. I know. Um... Oh, I've just it's just been a bit a bit of a what with Jennifer's finger and everything it's been a bit of a mad times you know because her finger's been it is getting better so I mean the plasters come off every few minutes but we're forever putting plasters on uh, but she's okay she doesn't like the antibiotics obviously they don't taste very nice just have a sip of tea. Mm. So she's not keen on the antibiotics, but she is, to be fair, she's doing her best with them. She doesn't understand. All she knows is it's something that doesn't taste nice that mummy and daddy are making her have. I And she don't want to do it. And I totally understand that. I don't blame her. So bless her heart. She's been doing ever so well with it. So... I mean, we're lucky we take pills. They don't really taste of anything, do they? Let's be honest. So, I'm going to put another layer of this lighter colour on, which was the Blue Horizon. To bless her. I do like to blend the, on earth is that, oh that's the thing for my pencil, I don't know where my blending pencil is, oh how annoying, I think it might be over there, I'll be back in a sec, okay I don't know where the blending pencil is, so I'll use the white from the skin tones, <sighs> bummer, I have to find that, because with Christmas everything's been moved around. And flashed around and it's just, oh, it's a nightmare. You know, when you, you just move things and I do prefer to use my Prismacolor blender. I think I might have to order some more to be fair. Oops, push that out of the way. There we are, that back there for now. Then we're going to use Blue Heaven, which is a lighter blue again. And this one's going to be for the fur and the pom pom. And here. So you can't see what I'm doing because I haven't moved the book. I do apologise. I'm just not with it. So, yeah, so Jennifer's fingers, it is getting better, bless her, she's doing well. But, oh, it's been a nightmare, because today, I thought, right, I've got to put her washing on, so I put on a load of Jennifer's clothes, and the washing machine decides not to spin and pump out the water. So I'm like, oh, great, here we go. So tomorrow I'm going to contact the washing machine repairman to see if he can uh, sort it out. Hopefully he can. I just can't afford anything else. I still haven't finished paying the car off. I've got another hundred to go on that now. Which is fine. I mean, the guy I got it from is a mate, and he, I said, "It's all right. I give you the last two hundred at the end of January." And he went, "Yeah, it's fine." 
so um, that's the main thing I'm not even sure what this is it's not part of the scarf because it's not that scarf it's not big enough I think it's part of this it's not part of the cat so we'll do it as part of that I don't know how much of this I'll get done. I will, obviously, oops, that's in the wrong one. No, it's not, that's in the right one. I will finish it before I, um, before the weekend, uh, before the end of the month, I will make sure that it is finished along with Whimsy Girls. Um, because I don't want to leave any whips because I've got something like seven Christmas books that still haven't been coloured in that are going to need I think this is all the blanket under here as well so I'll do as much as I can now and then uh, we'll have to see because I want to finish the two if I have to go into New Year's Day with them I will but I will still count them as December because they're Christmas pages and I want them done like I said seasons I've just got one finishing touch to put on it and that it'll either work or it won't and if it doesn't work, it's not going to ruin a picture, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, it's the blanket under there, that's fine. So, uh, that's so this under here, this is all the blanket. Which in a way is good because it's all one colour, so it's quite easy to... Do. So what are you, have you got any resolutions for the new year? So everybody says, you know, we all make New Year's resolutions. I generally don't. Um, this year, I, it, my, my colouring resolution is to still try and colour in every single book I've got. Hence why I'm going to be doing at least three colouring heaven pages um, uh, in, in January. Because I've got, obviously, the... The Alice and Dark Fantasy from December. And then when the new book comes out, I'll have that as well. So the idea is that we'll get... We do one page from the new book as it comes out and then one from all the books I've got. So that's good. I mean, I've got so many books, I can't see me actually getting through them all in one year. Because if I feel like colouring in something I've coloured in, I'm still going to do it. Whether it's a mandala book, as I do like them, and pattern books are very good for relaxing on an evening if I don't feel like doing anything too difficult. Obviously, we will want to do some Hannah Lynn. And I've got... How many books have I got? Four, four Hannah Lynn books now. And some free pages, so that's good. I don't really have to worry too much about those because I've got the um I've got some I got I got four books um obviously one is a Christmas book so we won't be doing too much in the Christmas book obviously um we'll save that and do something in December but we've got the fairy tale princesses book which we've done one in and we've got the, um, oh, what's it called book? We've got uh, the Christmas book, the Fairy Tale Princesses book, and I've got the two unused, two I haven't used, the newest one, which is Whimsy Girls at Work, which I'm looking forward to getting stuck into. And then I've got, is it Mermaids, Fairies and Other Mythical Creatures? It's one of those. 
So I've got those and then I've got some odd ones as well. So that I downloaded from that Hannah gives away a, a PDF book every year. It's the same one, but it's really cool. And I got it a couple of years ago and I've done a few from it and it's really good. So I've still got some of those that I can do as well. But I might pick up another Hannah Lynn book. It depends on how much money I've got at the end of the month because like I said, I want to get the, the Clara Markova book. So because I want to get that, I've got to be a little bit more careful with money because that's 30 quid before we even break out a sweat, you know, just for that one book. And I've said, I'm not, because I've got so many books and I'm trying to colour in them all, I'm not going to um, buy any more, or I'm going to try not to buy any more than five a month. So with the Colour in Heaven one, that would be six. But I might actually just leave it as five, including the Colour in Heaven one, just because it's a lot. And I've got so many books upstairs that are fabulous that I haven't touched. Like we've got the three, we got three of the five Kirby Rosannas. I've got one of the Bennett Kleins. I've got some Creative Haven ones upstairs. I've got all the Colour in Heaven ones that I've got that I haven't coloured in. Um, I've got a Doctor Who one I haven't coloured in. I've got the, the Famous Five one, the Kelly Horton one. I've got so many new ones that I really, really need. To crack on and uh, do some with it because I I don't want to have shelves and shelves of untouched books it's a waste of my money and I work hard for my money I, I work two jobs so I do my day job at the office and then I do my eBay if I don't make a lot of money on eBay and I do tend to save all that money um, obviously I took some of it on holiday with me when we went on holiday um, and, and that's fine, that's what it's for. But this month I haven't made a huge amount of profit. I haven't bought as much sundries or stock, so it looks like I've got more profit because I haven't bought as much stuff. So I, you know, I will be taking more out and that'll be going into three separate accounts. So one to pay tax, should I need to pass the tax threshold. If I pass the tax threshold, um, I'm I'm under the tax threshold at, at my, my day job um, so there's a chance I might not hit it even with the eBay but to be on the safe side I make sure I put away more than enough money to cover that and national insurance contributions which are voluntary for me um, on my second job but not on my first one and I did pay them last month I paid £79 um, but again I put all that money away and I'm happy to do that and then we've got my ISA, my individual savings account, where I put in some of it, which is great. It reminds me, I've got to put some money into Jennifer's bank account because Chris gave us some money for her uh, and he always gives us a cheque. So I put the cheque in her in my account because it's made out to me and then I transfer the money into her account. I haven't done it yet. A cheque will probably clear tomorrow. Um, but I, I might do that tonight just to put it in there so it's done so I wanted to have it it's her money he's good like that it's Chris so and then we've got a house account where we put money in for things we need for around the house so we want to like I said I've said before we want to renovate the living room um, side that I'm in we've done the one side it was a couple of years ago and the paintwork needs touching up now because of Jennifer it's a great big hand greasy handprint on the wall by by Paul's seat on the sofa so it needs cleaning off and, and repainting but that's the job we're going to do in the summer is just touch the paintwork up and then um, we can get our uh, new record player and things like that but, I mean I save I do save a fair bit of money I, I mean my I mean pay half the shopping with Paul and some of the bills he pays most of it because he earns more than me um, But I do try and save as much as I can and bank as much as I can so I save all my change and bank it at the end of the year so I'm getting ready to do that 
And when I say all my change, I pretty much mean all my change. Um, all my, I say all my one pence, ones, twos, fives, tens, 20 pence pieces, 50 pence pieces, and my two pound coins. And that, the two pound coins, they're, um, They've been saved for the um, they're for the record player, so I've pretty much got enough there. And then I'll continue to save them, but it'll be for something else for the house. So, so yeah, so we do that, and I'm I'm happy with that because it makes sense for us to have an account where we put money in to try and renovate the house. We still need to do the whole way, um, the upstairs passageway and stairs um, and then we will need a new kitchen and a new bathroom at some point it's one of those things and a new roof because these things need replacing at the moment and the roof is fine we do keep an eye on it to make sure and then we'll, we'll get it done when it needs to be done so this kitty is really cute. Now, I will admit, I'm not a big cat person. I don't mind them. I certainly don't have a problem with them, like some people. But I, I am a dog person, I'm not gonna lie. I love dogs. But I do like colouring kittens. Kittens are cute to colour. I'm not gonna lie on that. So we want a nice pink for her bow. That's uh, a bit bright. What colour is that? Delicious pink? I'm not sure about that one. Pig's ear. They got some funny names. What colour is that? That's toadstool. That's a sort of a pink colour. What colour is that? Ooh, that's a beautiful colour. So we'll do her bow with that and one of the brighter pinks. So here we go to the bow next. I'm assuming it's a girl cat because she's got a bow in her hair. Oh, and that's broken. I do find that occasionally with black widows. Not always, but sometimes they do break. And my tea's gone cold, so that's not very nice at all. Is this a black widow? Toadstool, yeah. I find the black widow ones tend to break. The others, yeah, this one's breaking terrible. I find the scorpions... And the Cobra, they don't break as much as the Black Widow ones for some reason. Maybe I just got a batch that had been dropped. Um, but not all of them do, it's only a few of them. Yeah. I found out with the black widows I was using a colour called the Cacada colour and that broke terrible. I've hardly got any of that left. This one is, it's not pink, it is pink but it's called Tanned. But it's very similar to Toadstool. So I'm just gonna go over that a bit just to give it a bit more. It's not a very pink pink. I guess we could have gone a bit pinker, couldn't we? But I didn't want to be in with a fluorescent pink. But I will put some bright pink on there, which is delicious pink, is it? No, bubblegum. Oh, let's have some bubblegum pink in it. Just to give it a bit, yeah, that's a bit more of the colour I wanted because we've got a bit of a, a bit of a blend going in there. That's better. It's not so horrifically bright as it would have been if I'd have just put that down on its own. That's a nice one. What's this one? It's not as bright though. Sunset. Ooh. You've got great colour names, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. The colour names in this set are really good. 
pig's ear and you've got delicious pink. This is pig's ear, this is just to give a bit of definition to the folds and stuff. Like that. Let's go over it with the white. So I'm using this white as a blending pencil at the moment because I don't know where my blender is. She's looking very cute. It's, that's that. So what colour should we do her scarf that she's lying on? Should we do it... Um, burgundy and yellow? Sort of a Harry Potter Gryffindor colours, I guess. <laughs> Not that I'm a big Harry Potter fan either, I'm just looking at a colour that might be nice. So a burgundy is a SC77 in Scorpion Z. We're going to do this bit as part of the, the scarf. Because it looks like it is by the way that it's lined. And it's, I think that's a gorgeous colour. <sighs> And then we will do the tassels yellow and burgundy as well. Look, where is it? There he is. Yes, I can't believe we're nearly in 2020. It seems like only yesterday. It was the year 2000. 1999. Oh, my life. It is a lifetime, though, isn't it? You think, 20 years. Oh, I'm not that old. It can't be that long ago, because I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not that old. It's strange to think that, I mean, colouring, I can remember colouring when I was a kid, obviously. And I can, I can remember colouring felt pens and crayons and pencils. And then you sort of stop. And I can't remember when I stopped or why I stopped. I don't know. But you do, you just stop. And it's silly, really. Why, why should you stop if you enjoy it? And then when I was at Yale working at the call centre one for 118 24-7 yellow pages um, but when it was getting towards the end it was very very quiet at times sometimes it was very busy still but there were times when we would get very quiet and one of the girls one of the managers Casey would come and print off some colouring pages and bring pencils and pens and crayons and we would just sit there and colour and we would sit there and colour and colour and colour. And it was fantastic. And they were only simple children's pages. I mean, it wasn't nothing like this. This was before it became big. This was back in like 2010. And then, of course, colouring took off as an adult hobby. And I, for one, am glad that it has. I'm just going to put a bit of deep purple in just to give it a bit of shading under there. That's it. But, uh, yeah, it's strange to think that it is now this massive, and I would think, million, million pound hobby, if you think about what we spend on supplies and books each year, and the quality of it. I mean, when people, you say, oh, I like to colour, my brother thinks it's so weird. It's like, you're not 12 anymore. It's like, no not but I don't colour things well I do colour things that are children because I've done a couple from uh, Crayola website that have been quite good <laughs> and I will continue to do so because they're freebies not that I particularly need them but if I fancy something a bit more simple and I can't find something I want to do I'll just go and download something and print it off but you know when you look at the Clara Markovers the Kirby Rosannas 
the Hannah Carlsons, the Johanna Bassfords. It, you know it's not, you can see it's not a hobby for a child. This colour is supposed to be yellow sand. It's a nice colour, it's very bright. It's a nice yellow. I'll find a darker one just to go over the top in a minute. Just to dull it down a bit, it's a bit too bright. But, um, you know. And Nick Filbert, I mean, you look at his books and you think, yeah, that is not for children. I mean, I'm not the best colorist and I know I'm not. I'm not one of those people who could spend days and days blending and layering and making one area look amazing. I'm really not. Um, it would just bore the hell out of me. I color because I enjoy it and I colour because it relaxes me. I don't feel the need. Sorry, I went out of focus then, I know I did, and again. Uh, I don't feel the need to be the best that I, you know, that there is. I colour for my own relaxation and enjoyment. I make videos for you guys because I enjoy talking to you and I like your comments and I like speaking to you and I like hearing your thoughts. I like to know what's going on and how you are and how you feel, um, how your days have been. And I make videos because I enjoy the interaction with you guys. Um, it would be better for me if I didn't because I'd have more time to, oh, let me see, colour. <laughs> and I would, I would have far more time to colour if I wasn't making these videos. But I really, I'm just getting the skin tones. I really do enjoy colouring and making the videos for you and I will continue to do so for as long as they let me to. So this next colour is from the Light Skin Tones and it is called Rust and we're just going to pop it on this little lady's nose because it's a beautiful colour for a nose. Look at she, she is so adorable and then we've got a little pinky one here that the one I'm going to go with? I might use that one. Yeah, I'll use that one in the middle. And this one, which is Merc. Now, I know somebody people have said they've had problems with Merc. Mm, yeah. I actually haven't. So I do think it's just the luck of the draw as to whether or not you get a set of pencils that's unfortunately been dropped or one of the pencils has been dropped. So let's put that in her ear there. But we're not going to leave it that colour because that doesn't look very good. We're going to put some blush over the top just to pink it up a bit. She's such a cute little kitten. There we are. So that's that. Let's have a look at the colours I want. So I was going to do a sort of ginger colour. So I need to find sort of an orangey. I've got a sunset. What's that? That's very orange. Uh, maybe. What's this colour? This is in the, the skin tones. Carrot. That might be a good colour. Again, it's very nice orange. Bright orange, but not as bright as sunset. So that's a possibility. We've got a burnt orange, let's have a look at that one. That's a nice, oh, these oranges are gorgeous. It's still a bit too orangey. Have we any more? There's not a lot of orange in these. Oh, what's this? Pumpkin, that might be the one we need. I think we're gonna go for pumpkin and a bit of Carrot, because they're the two nice colours. Now we've seen any with carrot coloured skin, but hey. We always put a bit of brown over it. There's a colour called stink bug here. That's a little brown. But it's a very light, almost gingery brown, so we'll keep that one out as well. Foxy brown. To me, foxes should be red. I love these colours, they got great names. So, 
Don't worry if it looks a bit too orange at the moment, because it does. I am going to put a different colour over the top, just to temper it down a bit. So that's why I'm very, I mean, I know I'm holding it very close to the point, but I'm still shading very lightly. And one of the reasons for doing this is we can leave part of her fur white because if we want to. I'm just aware of how long this is taking me so far. We're on to 30 odd minutes because I did stop twice to uh, a change the uh, battery and B have a look for the blender which I couldn't find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we use a stink bug I think. It's just uh, a brown. And it'll just temper down that bright orange a little bit. That's more of a gingery colour, isn't it? I'll just see, see what that colour actually is. It's my little pink kitten. Mm -hmm. Who's playing with the bins? This paper isn't brilliant for pencils, not for these ones. It might work better on a, a different brand of pencil, but it's these don't go down well. I think this one went down well on the Colour in Heaven books. These ones, because I took the Colour in Heaven book um, on holiday with me to Tenerife. And it went down really well. I did three pictures in that book. I think I will leave it white. I think I'll just give it a little bit of brown here. Okay. She's so cute. The camera stopped automatically then. So I've just gone a little bit around the face, but I probably will leave this bit white in the middle. So. We just need to now finish doing her, oh, I haven't done this inside of her ear, um, fur and the background. So we'll probably do that green because we haven't got any green on here. So let's just use this uh, pumpkin again. Um, we're just going to do bits. So yeah, so tonight I'll be finishing off Seasons when I finish this and I'm getting this edited, which won't be too long I don't think. And then what I'll do is, um, I have a feeling that actually might be part of a bow looking at it. That's okay, I can pink that out in a minute. Oops. Let's put that on there because I will put pink on it in a minute. Just to make it even. Just do this bit. She's got lovely paws. Um, yeah, I'll pink that out in a minute. I'm getting very tired, I've got to be honest. It is nearly bedtime. It is nearly bedtime. It's got to be. But like I said, I have to really wait for Paul and Jennifer to be in bed before I do these. Um, I don't mind. I really don't mind being a little bit, a bit later than them. She's such a cute little kitty. 
we zoom in a bit on it? Or are we in? Oh, we're in practically all the way. No wonder we can't. You can't see what I'm doing half the time. I can turn this so I can hatch it this way. Blend it in a bit better. So yeah, the camera stopped working again. It does that every now and again. I think it gets overheated. So as you can see, it's not really filling in all the gaps. Then I'd normally get a blender pencil on this, but I don't know where it is, so I can't. But I still like this picture. I think it looks lovely. I think she's so sweet. My little kitty cat. So I'm just going to put some odd stray fur in her white bits. Because cats aren't all one colour. Fur isn't all, all white. There's different shades to it. So we're just going to put in some little bits of colour into the the white patches, even on her nose, a bit there. Oh, she's so cute. We've got a bit up here that needs doing. I don't really want to do any more, too much more pumpkin. I can put a little bit in there, actually, if I find it again. Egg mm, yolk is a good colour as well. Where did I put pumpkin on? Huh, it must be back east, so it must be the top. Yes. There. Can't see where I'm putting it, never mind. Up here. So we've nearly finished now, so what you've seen of it, because I haven't shown you much. She's still a lovely little kitty. So as you can see, it doesn't blend brilliantly as I put it across like that. It's just not filling in the, all the whites. So I would normally get the blending pencil on this to just fill it in. But I don't know where it is, so I probably won't do it another time. Let's just go back to those pinks. We were using tanned, weren't we? First of all. Yep, tanned. And we had a bit of bubblegum pink, didn't we? Fancy pink. A bit of bubblegum pink here. Just to give it a bit of pinkness, I think. Yeah, that's it. That shows it's more to do with her bow than anything else. Not the best. But again, my Derwent eraser is in the same pot as my flipping thing. So I'm just going to look for a nice green now. That's too bright. Irish green is quite a bright one if I remember rightly. Yeah. What about grub green? I think that's a nice colour. Oh yeah, that's the colour we want. So we're just going to now colour in the background. I'm going to give it this nice green. Well, I could put a pretty, not really hard pressure on, but it's fairly it's good medium pressure. I wouldn't call this hard. I can press a lot harder than this. For the background. And as you can see, you can see lots of white spots even when I hash it and go back over it the other way. So that I'm crossing. Although it is filling it in, it's still some white gap, so. Right. We are nearly done on our last picture for 2019. Well, that we'll be doing on camera because I've still got to finish my um, Seasons and Hannah Lynn. But like I said, with the Seasons one, Seasons is almost done. I'm going to finish that in a minute. If you know, And if it doesn't work, what I'm going to try and do, it's not going to ruin the picture. The picture will stand just as good on its own as it is. It won't be hurting the picture, what I'll be doing to it. So... Not worried about that. So as long as I'm all right with that, I can I can live with it. You know, if if what I want to do doesn't work, and I don't think it will, but I'm going to try it anyway. 
um, if not going to ruin the picture, the picture will still be fine. So, and that's all that matters. So, I don't know how many I've done. I've done 13 pictures, I think maybe 13 or 14 this month, which for me is pretty good. And the majority of them have been in new books, not all of them, I don't think. Well, obviously, Whimsy Girls Christmas. I've coloured in before and it's a whip from last year that I'm trying to finish off. Um, there's one in, yeah, there's a couple. Most of them are new. Most of them are books I haven't coloured in before, so that's a good, that can only be a good thing. I'm happy with that. Nearly finished this now. Yay! It's amazing. It's only took us two. That's why I picked a simple one. There are some that are far more complicated in this book. But I thought I would just do this in pencils. the last day of 2020, 2019 tomorrow and then it's a whole new decade it's not just a new year it's a new decade that's crazy Jennifer will be two in January the end of January and I've been back at work nearly a whole year and I, I don't want to be there obviously but you know you have to do what you have to do because we need money it's not going to be forever so I have now Finish this one. I think she looks very cute. <coughs> She's been popping. So I'm just gonna turn her around and zoom out for you. So there we are. So we did this with the Black Widow pencils and the Link Shine Gel pens that we got from Amazon. They were only two pounds. It looks really cute. It's very glittery. She's a very cute kitty. I like this book. Um, and I'll be carrying it hopefully again next Christmas and I won't be buying as many. Yeah, right, okay. I lied. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, colour and chat, the very final one for 2019. I'll see you again with a new one in 2020. And some new videos. Anything you particularly want to see, just leave, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, which will notify you every time I put out a new video, which at the beginning of the month, end of the month, tends to be a lot more because of the completed pages and the book hauls and, and such like. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year, everybody. Have a great party. Enjoy yourselves, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in 2020. Bye.